This is my day two, the second day of my vlog after such a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed the previous vlog. I know unfortunately I couldn't put a lot of the sound that I was playing in the gym because they were playing background music and you know Eminem and all that stuff. So you know the copyright laws of YouTube, right? Doesn't work out. Anyways, as promised, I said I'm going to interview people and I said I'm going to like uh, train with other athletes and stuff like that. So today. I'm with a very dear friend of mine. Actually, we already trained a lot on the bag. That's why I'm sweating and I'm like panting when I'm talking to you. And but anyways, today I'm with a dear friend of mine and also a coach of mine as well. I would take him as that. And um, he's actually a blue belt, a third stripe in jujitsu. So we're gonna do some rolling, and he's gonna teach me some techniques and stuff like that. So while teaching me, he's gonna be teaching all of you guys as well. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this episode and uh, check it out. By the way, here's my man. This is. Louis, all right, Coach Louis, uh, blue belter in uh, Jiu Jitsu. All right, uh, Louis, tell us a little bit about yourself and what inspired you to get into Jiu Jitsu and stuff. Before that, uh -huh. I remember him uh, six years ago when I first came to Dubai. I saw him in the park while I was training some of my clients um, um, boxing, and then he was there doing capoeira. And I was like, what? What's, what's going on? Capoeira, man? Oh my god, I want to I know some of that jazz too. So I go to him and says, uh, so you're training? Are you doing something? He's like, yeah, I am. But at that time, you were not doing jiu-jitsu, were you? Yeah, I'm not. He was just doing capoeira. Mm -hmm. But anyways, forget about that. We'll talk about it. Let him, let him talk about it. Tell us about yourself, bro. What, what inspired you and everything? Well, um, when I was in Sri Lanka, when I was back home, um, I'm actually a wrestler, a school wrestler. So um, I have fight like the national championships and all these things, but um, I actually lost all my dream when I come into Dubai. I thought like I will never represent my country back here. So uh, when I came to Dubai, so I got a scholarship from UFC. So I went to learn MMA. So when I learn MMA, like when I'm going to the classes, I have seen some people are doing Jiu-Jitsu. And I'm a wrestler, so. Inspired you. Yeah, actually, I didn't even care about them because I'm a wrestler, so I don't care about the ground fights. I thought like I knows everything. So until someone came from other gym and beat me up by the grappling, I never realized what Jiu-Jitsu really is. So uh, actually a small guy like me doing Jiu Jitsu, actually it's the fun part is I, 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 I could be like big guys that I could never see. Like they're actually twice size than me, but I still want going to beat them. So that's the fun part of Jiu Jitsu. Exactly, so, and look at me, I'm training from, I'm learning from him Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. By the way, uh, we, uh, I, I'm actually a striker, that's my background and I'm not into like, uh, uh, I, I'm not, sorry, <laughs> my hand is hurting so I had to change my hand. I got you. Yeah, you know. So actually, my I'm actually a striker and I'm into like uh, MMA striking. I know a little bit of Jiu-Jitsu just to protect myself when it come, when someone comes to shoot up my legs or something like that or take or go me a takedown. I know how to do a sprawl and probably do a basic arm bar and everything and you know, so I, basically to get away from it. But I realized that it is not effective enough with people like this, all right? I might be able to beat him up standing, but the moment he gets me on my legs uh, or gets me down, I'm done, okay? So this is good for everybody, all of you guys out there who's, who's, good, who's good at st stand up and striking. Don't think that's the end of it. You gotta learn Jiu Jitsu as well to, to, to know an overall entire uh, uh, amazing fighting system, all right? Technical fighting system. So that's, that's why, so today he's going to be teaching me some of the techniques as well and uh, let's see how that goes. What are you going to actually teach me today? Well, I'm going to teach you the Kimura. The from, Kimura, okay. Yeah, it, it's actually the close guard portion. So the MMA actually, uh, when we fell down on the first, that they, sometimes our a opponent will end up in our close guard. So that time, we, like the guy on the top is always trying to punch the, the, the down guy and trying to knock him out. So that's what we call ground and pound. So in this situation, there's a couple of ways to escape, a couple of ways to win and finish the fight. So this is one of the ways that to finish the fight without even, uh, without even like, go, like burning you so much of gas, it will be easy to uh, tap your opponent up. That sounds good bro, that sounds good. So let's get to it and show them how it's done. Okay, guys, actually, 
John, I, I know him so, since a long time, but um, I never thought like Uncle Bunker. 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 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> John, Uncle Bunker, whatever. Uncle but, Bunker, so, all is good. I have seen him like six years ago, but I never realized I will meet him back in. So now we a good chance that we train together, and he's my striking coach, actually, one of the striking coach that we train in MMA, actually. He's really, really helped for me for the pads and all these things, that small details that I could get. Actually, strike is very, very important. It is, it is. That's yes. right. It has to be a yin and a yang, right? Yeah. So MMA is all about that. You, you can't win all the time when you're, when you're, when you're like grappling. And you yeah. can't win all the time when you're striking. But if you know the entire package, that is what makes it so beautiful. Yeah. There's no and complete. Powerful. There's no complete martial art in the world. So they're covering like different stuff. Like you know, they have five ranges things, and not all the uh, martial art covering all of these things. Exactly. So that's why we had to learn from everybody everything. Sharing exactly. is caring, people. Exactly. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay, guys. Um, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the kimura lock. I know there's a, so many kimuras, like, but this one will be help you uh, to tap your opponent from the ground and pound, like from your close guard. So it is close guard to kimura transition. All right, let's do that. Right. So imagine my opponent is right here in my close guard. So as usual, he's trying to punch me up here. So if I stay in here, I'll be dead. Right? What I'm gonna do? I had to defend myself. What I do is I lock my close guard here and I'm gonna pull him to me. So you can see for defense, he put his arm on the floor. What I gotta do, I gotta put my uh, I had to catch his wrist right here and I'm pulling it back right here. So and my other arm go over his shoulder and open my guard at the same time. This leg will go on his hip and I'm hip scaping. This arm, I'm going to catch my own wrist here. And same concept with the arm bar, this leg will go close to his armpit. Now, what I had to do is just lift this arm a little bit here. So you guys can see the tap is coming. Right. There you go. I hope you guys got that. Right. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. See. It's his chance. Yeah. So, let's go. so I will tell you what is the difficulty that you're gonna face in this situation. So, okay. So he pulled me, and I put my hand on the ground. Right. So if your opponent like leg is here, I can grab the leg like this. So he had. I think I have a resistance button. No. He still can do the same thing. He escaped the hip. Right. Here. One more time. Let's go. Love the post guard. Okay, cool. Us. Us, guys. And uh, mm. next time we'll be teaching you guys something else as well. Guys, Jiu Jitsu is a real deal. So you guys cannot ignore the grappling and training only the striking on the MMA ring. Exactly. Because the, the, the grappling is much important, same as the striking as well. Yeah. So uh, Jiu Jitsu is tough game. So, uh, but it's easy. The reason that Jiu Jitsu made for the small people like me, for the weak people, that who can beat the big people out there. This, like me. Yeah. <laughs> if you think that the small guys can't fight, that's not true. Yep. You, right. got, that. you got that going. You know, we know that. We know that. All right. See so you guys good. next time and uh, with another brand new video. Yes, exactly. All right. Oos. Oos. Guys, I hope you guys got that. It was amazing training with uh, Coach Louis over here. And uh, by the way, today we um, I'm also with my buddy Mission here. You saw him on the next on the previous video, right? So we're gonna be doing a lot more sessions, a lot more striking, a lot more pad work, a lot more jujitsu, and uh, we're gonna be interviewing a lot of athletes in the coming times. So let's get that thing going on. So, anyways, as usual, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to BJJ TV and check him out as well. Make sure to uh, hit the uh, notification button so you won't miss any of our videos. Yes, so. yes. Until next time, peace out, Uncle Bokasa. Peace. Peace. Peace.